So I hear a lot of people asking questions about how to do um, hinging on, on uh, aeroplane wings and what tape shall I use and all the rest of that. Well, I reckon that it's nothing to do with the tape, it's how you actually do it. And I'm going to show you how to get the best tape hinge out of your model aeroplane. And, uh, so one of the downsides of this is that sellotape is kind of clear, you can't really see it. What you do is you take a piece of tape, probably about 50 mils or 2 inches long or just over, it doesn't really matter. And I'll just place the camera down here. You take the piece of tape and you slice it. So the camera can see it. Slide uh, right through the middle like so. It doesn't really matter that it's not too nice and clear, but you want both pieces like so. You turn one around, so the sticky side is facing the sticky side of the other, and you overlap them and stick them together by about five mils or so. So the there's a section in the middle that's sticky on this side and not sticky on that side. Okay. We do that with two pieces of tape and I'll be back in a minute. Right. Now, so here we have our two pieces. First trick, I'll swatch my camera screen. So you place one piece on so that the where are we? Center of the tape where there's no stickiness is right on the hinge line and make sure you get the right side first so you don't put it on the wrong side like I just did. So there we go. And in the center here right at the hinge line there is nothing sticking to the elevator or aileron. Take your second piece making sure you got your sticky side on the top this time round and you place it on the aileron right next to the first one again so that the non-sticky side is on the hinge line. Next thing, we bring it up to our aeroplane and again this is going to be a little tricky because I've only got two hands, I'm not an octopus, and we take our sticky side which remember we've stuck to the bottom of the aileron so the sticky side's on the top. So we want to stick that, oh, sorry, uh, bottom, we want to stick that So that our tape goes one way on the bot top, bottom on one side, and the other way on the other. And I'm just a little cack handed at the moment, but we'll get that in a second. So there we go. Tape to the top of the wing on that side, and to the bottom of the wing there on that side. And what you go and do is you repeat that all the way down the wing. So you've got one piece sticking on the bottom on one side of the air later on and one piece sticking on the top on the other side here and when you are finished you'll have a hinge line that is absolutely perfect because you are hinging about a tape line I'll repeat it and I'll show you the finished result now the difference between this method here and the standard single piece of tape on the bottom of the wing like on this side so you'll notice, as this thing gets old, the tape fails, and the aileron can move away, which is not really desirable for a good hinge line. With this set up here, it can't move down, because it's taped on the top, and it can't move up, because it's taped on the bottom. And so you always get a perfect hinge line. And if you have a look, when the aileron goes up and it can actually roll away from the bottom of the hinge, it's not held rigidly in place, but it always hinges about the same line. One of the tricks I should have mentioned, by the way, is that in order to get your second your pieces of tape down the line of the wing as you get further on, you may end up having to slide your tape down the uh, the wing as you go. So I'll just get my lovely assistant here to help out holding the camera, make sure it's focused on where I'm going at so I can stick the tape in the right place this time round gotta go the other way need to get the bottom data on this time where are we? it sticks a little bit, it can be a pain but the results are definitely worth it you got it love? Okay, so we're sticking on the top of the wing there, and the bottom of the aileron here. Now, we've actually got a working hinge line, and you'll see a perfect...
perfect working hinge there that does not flex at all off its desired line. I'll repeat the whole thing and I'll show you when I'm done. Alright, so here we are almost completely done, although I've just realised one critical error and that I forgot to leave a gap here, whereas I've got a gap here, so of course I've now got a gap down at the end here, so I'm going to have to cut it off and do it again. Never mind, that's all my stuff. That happens when you're building models sometimes. Anyway, perfect hinging here, not a scrap of trouble. It's nice and stiff, no matter how much I push down here. It's staying in line with the bottom of the wing, or how much I pull up, again, it stays in line with the bottom of the wing. It's not even trying to peel away. This is the older hinge here. Hinge the normal way with a line of tape running right the way across the top, or bottom. And if you have a look, back there you'll see that the hinge line is breaking away, although, and although it hinges nicely, the tape is trying to come off, and the hinge is trying to come away. Something which will never happen when you hinge with the double-sided method.